Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some gameplay from Bad Company 2. Uh, for a change, really, after all that home friend content. But in this video, I wanted to kind of give my thoughts on a, uh, a subject that obviously Jesus brought up in uh, one of his most recent videos on Machine and Marie Spawn. Uh, he talked about kill whoring in Call of Duty and how that company to kind of gives incentives to be more of a team player and play the objectives instead of just running off on your own and just searching for kills. So for those of you who don't know, kill whoring is the action of just going for the kills and not uh, being concerned with the objectives. So say in a game of conquest instead of well that's not a bad, bad example actually um let's see it's a uh in a match of domination in call of duty where you're which is like conquest of course where you're taking flags instead of going for flag caps and actually helping your team out winning by helping dominate the flags you are instead running away from the objectives and just going purely for the kills and that action is called kill whoring, where you're only concerned about the kills and your kill death ratio instead of the more or less the um, the uh, statistics or rather the points of the match. And obviously, Jesus says that Bad Company 2 is a lot uh, is a lot better uh, is a better game at actually. Uh, <laughs> Look at me streaming. I'm scared of the sniper. <laughs> uh, well, as as I said, obviously Jesus kind of think kind of thinks that Bad Company 2 has a better system of rewarding um, team play instead of uh, in uh, rewarding uh, kill whoring, which Call of Duty kind of has an um, uh, knack of doing, because there's a lot more points to be gained if you're just running around killing people. And one of the typical responses, well, to put it this way, I totally agree with obviously Jesus. I mean, if you're playing Domination or Conquest or Rush, go play the objectives because it's a, an objective game type. It's an objective game mode. It's supposed to be about the objectives. The whole point, the whole way of winning is actually to play the objectives. That's why you choose to play Domination, because instead of just running around killing people, you're actually going to strategize a little bit more and try to kind of out-strategize the other team, if that's even a, uh, a term. But, you, you know, the whole point of an objective game type is to actually be tactical and uh, do... Uh, play more, uh, more, uh, more smartly and actually con uh, be concerned about something else and just kills. And when people get into, especially Domination Call of Duty and also somewhat of Headquarters, where they go in and all they do is run around and kill people and they don't even, they're not even concerned with the objectives and it just annoys the hell out of me because you might be on a flag or something completely alone and then you'll see on the UAV, uh, on the little map the radar UAV call it whatever you want uh, that of course there's a guy over camping over there just outside of the perimeter but he won't run into the perimeter of the flag cap because he might actually get killed and get a worse KD so it's just if you're playing this kind of game type, why are you not? Why are you concerned about it? KD? It's all about the win-loss, then, right? It's about how many. Uh, I mean, uh, how many times have you won, divided by how many times you've lost? And for a lot of, how should I put it, more adult gamers or more serious gamers, um, it's more about the win-loss ratio, not the ki uh, kill-death ratio, because. Yes, you might get a high kill death, but it doesn't show if you're a good objective player, if you play well with your team. If you're just camping back in a um, in a corner and just shooting the people of opportunity, you might get a high uh, kill death ratio. 
because you're going nine and one, but you didn't help your team at all because your teammates might ha might have three times the kills and ten times the points because they've actually been doing some f work in the game. And uh, so, so as I said, more some of the more seasoned players often go by win loss ratio and say that. I have a win high win-loss yeah. ratio because I always play the objective. That means that I always try to help out my team, play strategically with my team so that we end up winning. Um, another thing that kind of comes up with this, uh, always is br uh, brought up with this subject is people should be able to play the game however they want. And um, as expected, one of the most highly rated comments on obviously Jesus, Jesus's oh that's that's a lot of s's. Uh, <laughs> um, one of the most highly rated comments on obvi obviously Jesus's video is that people are taking games way too seriously. People are playing games to have fun and. Why can people just play the way they want, have the fun that they can have, and and not have other people kind of not necessarily raging, but kind of complaining about their playstyle? And I'm all about that. I mean, if I'm not having fun in a game, I stop playing because then then the whole point is of, uh, is gone. But and the thing is, the reason I might not having having fun is not necessarily because I'm losing but because I'm frustrated with my teammates because they're not playing the fracking objective that's why I'm not having fun and so as I said I'm all for having fun in a video game that's what it's all about but the thing is if you're just gonna go kill whoring play a game mode that's about killing like for example team deathmatch or free-for-all or mercenary team deathmatch or whatever it is but go, please go for a game mode that's all about killing if you're go just gonna kill people and not play the objectives uh, as I said I, I'm all for having fun but the thing is yes people might having fun playing that way but the thing is that it might not be as much fun for other people and it's it's just I'm just getting tired of that argument uh, people are supposed to have fun, let people play the way they want. And I'm not s telling people how to play, they may play however they like. Just don't play as, uh, so that it, it, it's, just play so that it benefits your team. And don't go out of your way to actually uh, play a way that doesn't benefit your team, like kill whoring in a domination game. And often it's a bit hard to spot the kill whores because they might be actually defending a flag and kind of camping out and defending a flag, uh, for example, and it might look like kill whoring, but they're actually kind of protecting the spot. Uh, but, you know, they know who they are, and <sighs> I'm just getting a little frustrated with people being so short-sighted just to say, well, they should have played... Uh, be allowed to play however they like and yes that's very true but it doesn't mean that they have to ruin the game for everyone else that actually want to play the game properly and yes there is a difference between a properly played uh, domination match and a not properly played domination match the properly properly played one oh that's a difficult word seriously uh, a properly played a domination match is all about have keeping the uh, getting the fly caps and keeping them that way. And if you're not going to play that way, then you're not going to play domination because that's what it's all about. Um, so it's just <sighs> I'm just frustrated with kill horse. That's all, really. And their defenders that say that. They should be able to play how they want. Yes, they may play however they want. Just don't let it affect other players. So that's it for now. I go 24 and 7. Uh, pretty well, if I may say so. Almost 3.5 in KDR. Speaking of which. 
Um, I hoping I hope to see you next time. Stackers.